Welcome back to another exciting episode of Celebrity Catwalk. Thank you for checking us out on Manhattan Neighborhood Network. And if you happen to be watching us on YouTube, be sure to hit that little red like and subscribe button below so that you won't miss any of our new and exciting episodes. I'm very excited to have a special guest with us today. This is Mickey King, the owner and president of Anton's based in Queens. I'm very excited to have you here, and Mickey, this is the first of a couple visits. You don't know this yet, but we're, 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 you've, 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 you've gone down the rabbit hole with us, so my apologies in advance. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you very much for being here. For those that don't know, and please correct me if I'm wrong, Anton's is a full-service catering and event facility. Yes. And it also is a family-owned business, which we love. Yes. And please tell us a little bit about what I find interesting is you did have a choice whether or not to follow your family into this business, and you chose to do so. Sure, yeah. My dad did not make me come work for him. Um, so when I was younger, I just wanted to go to work with my dad and just like, I want to get in the car on Saturday morning because I didn't have school, and he'd be leaving for work like, I'm coming. So he said, okay. And uh, I just enjoyed being there. I enjoyed everything about um, working in the kitchen, uh, which is where I started. I started working in the kitchen, which was still my favorite job, was working in the kitchen and washing the glasses, which was very easy. <laughs> so, wow. But uh, that's where I started washing glasses, and I just enjoyed being there, enjoyed the atmosphere. It's very fast-paced. Um, and for a little kid who could not ever sit still, which is me, um, it was a, you know, a very perfect fit. Wow, that's very great. And you're also on the board of directors for the New York State Restaurant Association. Correct, yes. So I would love for you to please touch on the pros and cons of being a small business, particularly in New York State or New York City or the tri-state area, if you will. I think people have this uh, misconception that when you're a business owner, you're out on your yacht daily <laughs> and you are not, you know, you're a business Never. owner and you are living this wonderful life at your chateau in Monaco and you are not really hands-on. So I know that's a multi-layered question, so I apologize in advance, but but please tell us more. That's okay. So uh, definitely owning a small business. We'll start with, I guess, New York and New York City because we're in New York City. So uh, owning a small business in New York City definitely has a lot of pros and cons. Um, there are a lot of challenges um, being in the city of New York. Um, one is just there's a lot of regulatory issues in New York City. Um, there's state laws and there's city laws, and you have to adhere to both when you're in the five boroughs. Mm -hmm. And the two, the city government and the state government, don't talk to each other, um, which is always fun. Interesting. So, you heard it here first. <laughs> So uh, it's always interesting trying to keep up with those. And then being a small business, you don't have this you know, compliance department like you know, a giant massive company would have um, that you know, will keep up on this. And we don't have a legal team. Um, you know, it's pretty much just all on us to just, you know, it's on me and my, um, my father to you know, make sure we're keeping track of these new things, um, which is what the Restaurant Association does. Okay. Um, is, so being on the board of directors, I typically see these, you know, regulations as they're coming out, so I'm able to adapt my business. But uh, other small businesses, you know, it's our job as the association to try and get that word out to people because the city does not, you know, send out like a memo like, oh, we changed the law. Um, you know, you have to, you're just kind of like on your own. Um, whereas if we were in a small town, there's a little bit more of a connection between the business and the, you know, the lawmakers Got and you. the legislators. Okay. Whereas in a giant city like ours, there's a, there's a really big disconnect. Um, and that's hard. The, the pros are that I'm in New York City. I mean, we are the greatest city in the world, so it's nice to be here. You know, the guests, I think, are my favorite part of being in the city. You know, the, just the people of our city and our state are just awesome to deal with. Um, they're a lot of fun. They always have a lot of fun ideas, and I'm always down for trying new things that they, uh, they bring to the table. Please, Anson's is going through some incredible expansion, so please tell us a little bit about what you've got cooking, literally and figuratively. So we actually just added uh, an outdoor space, so we now have an outdoor venue. We can do outdoor events, outdoor wedding ceremonies, um, so that's great. Um, in doing that, we're expanding kind of a lot of different things. One is our, our staff, so we are growing our staff. Uh, we're looking for new members of the staff to grow our team. Um, you know, adding, you know, uh, new managers and, um, you know, adding different uh, service staff and things like that to, you know, facilitate this expansion. 
uh, and new banquet consultants to make sure we have enough people to plan all the new parties that we have been booking. So it's been very busy. So you are currently hiring, correct yes, me if I'm wrong. absolutely. How should people go about applying if they're interested? We have a careers page on our website. So if you go to antons.com slash careers, um, and then on there, um, we'll give you different links. Um, we're always hiring service staff because uh, we do have a very large service staff. Um, but also managers can apply on there that have experience um, and bank consultants as well. Wow. Do you ever have multiple events going on at your venue at the same time? Absolutely, yeah. We have a pretty big venue. So we actually have five different um, banquet rooms plus the outdoor. So Have you ever had five? Absolutely. You've had five events going on at, at the, the same, same time. time? Yes. Yep. And each event has its own set of staff, though. So um, like the servers in one room aren't like shared with the room next door. So everybody still has their own individualized experience, which is important to us. Yes. We don't, you know, you know, although we're a very big place, the great thing about being a family business is that, you know, we are able to treat everybody, you know, individually. And each room will have their own servers, their own bartenders, their own maitre d' who's in charge of that event. Like, they don't have to worry about them switching and going from room to room. Wow, that's incredible. So five different rooms and now an outdoor space. Yes. So potentially there could be six events. I'm not that crazy, so <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Incredible. That's absolutely. Are there any events that really stand out? I know I'm probably putting you in a bad situation to speak about a favorite, but is there anything, any incredible demands or anything that, that, that you've never seen or at this point have you seen it all? <laughs> I think I've seen it all, but then something shows me something <laughs> new and I'm like, I guess I didn't see it all yet. Exactly. What I find interesting, and, and I'm sure this may be old hat to you, but uh, and I saw it on your website, the Sweet 16 party, the Sweet 16 event has become akin to a wedding, if you will. The, the Sweet 16 uh, we, party phenomenon, please. We do say it's like a mini wedding. Um, it's not like a wedding, but it, you know, they do, um, you know, the customization is kind of what makes like that. So for us, for weddings specifically, um, for us, every wedding should be different. Um, there's no cookie cutter mold for a wedding that, you know, every wedding should reflect the couple and what the couple wants. Um, the Sweet 16 is similar in that fact that the, you know, it should reflect the 16 year old girl um, who's having the party and what they like and what their family likes and what their family's about. Right, right. I, I just think it's so incredible, as I'm sure you've seen, the dresses, the DJ, what what 16 year olds and what parents are doing for 16 year olds is is incredible. Yep. At Absolutely. This point. Yeah, we try to, like I said, we try to make sure it reflects the family, and including one of the things that these 16 year olds love is that we will do in certain different, um, you know, if it's part of their package or they can add it on, we'll make a custom Snapchat geo filter for them. So wow. that if you were on Snapchat, you know what that is. Um, Absolutely. For, for, I think everyone here knows w what Snapchat is. We won't even uh, explain <laughs> so it to you. But. We make a custom one with uh, custom graphics for their event that, of course, has a geo fence around our building. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely fantastic. So Anson's is really, while you are still a family business and I feel you bring those, if you will, and I mean this in the best of terms, those old school values, you all are still well into the 21st century in terms of your, your technology and the cool little apps and gadgets and things that you're doing to stay au courant, if you will. Absolutely, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. I don't know of any other, th having a Snapchat filter is absolutely incredible. If I were they love 16, it. yes, I was gonna <laughs> say, I would be all over that, all over that. People also, are they, is the baby shower and and I guess you're getting all the, the birthday parties. I guess there's probably no milestone that doesn't warrant a celebration at your establishment. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the wonderful things about my job is I get to be part of something special event. It's a memory that they're gonna have for the rest of their life. And uh, myself and my team is get to be a part of it. And that's really special and unique to us. And I think that's, you know, in our business, we, um, we should really kind of relish that. You know, be yes. like, this is great. We get to be part of this person's 50th birthday. They're only gonna do it one time. It's only one 50th birthday. That's so true. we get to be a part of this person's wedding, uh, you know, and they only get to do it one time. And, you know, it's something that they're gonna remember forever and we're going to be a part of it. All right. So you you all are really 
in the business as, I, I don't want to sound corny, but you're really in the business of creating memories and Absolutely. creating experiences. It's not just coming in, eating, and, and leaving. It's You really create the full experience. Absolutely. I remind my staff that all the time, that we don't sell food and beverage. Yes, we have food and beverage. We sell an experience. Um, and that's what is special to my venue in that we you know, make sure my staff remembers that, that we are making a memory that's going to last these people a lifetime, that we have to make sure we're treating it like that. Uh, and everybody there knows that. I mean, everybody's, th I mean, they're all on the same page. Everyone's on the same page uh, on my team. It's great. They all love being a part of these events. Nice. Nice. Well, thank you very much, Mickey, for stopping by. You will be back again. I appreciate you coming and, and spilling a little tea on the, on the ins and outs of the business world, and I look forward to having you back. Great. Thank you so much for thank having me, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll be back with another exciting guest here at Celebrity Catwalk. Welcome back to Celebrity Catwalk. I'm your host, Dana Humphrey, and today we have an amazing guest. We have Anna Zeggy from Groom It. Welcome to the show, Anna. Thank you. So, first of all, can you introduce your furry pal to us? This I think is Layla. 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 And what kind of dog is she? It's a Yorkie. And where did you get her? American Kennel Club. Awesome. And how old is she? She's two. She's beautiful. Thank you. So I understand that you invented the concept of Groom It. Right. Can you tell us a little bit about how that came to be and Well, initially I wanted, I wanted someone to come to my house and groom my dog. I wanted to see the process. I didn't want to just blindly give my dog away and then, um, and first of all, that's one thing. And then it's very inconvenient. You have to book like two weeks in advance if you schedule a dog grooming um, in a pet shop. and. Not only is it inconvenient, like three people work on your dog, one person washes the hair, another person cuts the hair, another person blow dries the hair, they put the dog in the cage, like you don't know what's happening to it. So I just wanted, um, I wanted to see everything that's happening to my dog, I'm anal about my dog. Um, so I called like so many different spas and it was so difficult to find someone that will actually come to your house. And um, you thought there must be a better way. There must be a better way. I finally found like one person to finally do it. And I was like, oh my God, this needs to be a business. They have, you know, like Priv to come to your house for makeup. They have Zeal to come to your house and do massages. Like they, they must have this for dogs. So what was the next steps as far as making this into an app? So I, um, I, I talked about it with someone who became my partner, okay. who um, works in telecom and kind of is a business person. And, and like, I just came up with the idea, and I needed someone who's you know hands-on and kind of knows knows business and knows um, how to create an app, how to create a business. The technology right, side of it. Right, yeah. right. Wow, that's amazing. So, from when you were first looking for a groomer to come to your house for Layla and. Um, till today, now mm -hmm. that the app is launched and right. live, um, how much time has passed? About, well, it took about a year to create the app. It was like so much work, so much went into it, so many details. Um, and then about a year, the app has been live. So can you tell us a little bit more about how the app works, if someone's interested in it's, having an app? It's at, very at easy, grooming? yeah. You just download the app, Groom It. Okay. G-R-O-O-M-I-T. Can I let her down? Sure. Okay. Um, so you just download the app. It's very easy on the phone. It's Android and iOS. And book an appointment. You just you enter your dog details. You they have to be vaccinated, and they we come to your house, and it's very easy. Wow, awesome. And how's the how's the pricing like? Um, well, we have two packages. We have a silver package and a gold package. The it, on average, for a small dog, it's about $110, $120, plus there's add-ons. Okay. It could be anywhere from like $120 to like $330. Awesome. Yeah. And are there other services on there besides grooming? Um, well, we groom both cats and dogs, and we also do baths. We just come to your house, give your dog a bath, no no, no scissors, no nothing, just uh, oh, that's bathing. that's great, yeah. for in-between cleans. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. And uh, do you use the service for Layla? Yes, I do. Can you tell me a little bit about your last grooming experience with grooming? My last grooming experience? Well, I have a groomer that uh, grooms her, like I only let her groom her. Okay. Um, so I just, I, I tell her directly, like, but she's a grooming groomer. 
Oh, wonderful. Yeah. So um, so what's the experience like for you? Do, do they groom in your kitchen? They groom or? in my kitchen. Um, okay. They clean up after themselves. It's really easy. I always like, you know, walk in and out and like always see like what they're doing, if she's okay. And so you can just, see like, every yeah, step of the way. Every step of the way, yeah. That's awesome. I'm mm -hmm. sure that gives you peace of mind. Exactly. And how long does she normally come for? Uh, about an hour, an hour and a half. Okay. I'm sure Layla likes it. <laughs> I don't know about that, but she looks she looks amazing after. Do you do any special any special cuts or any special looks? No, well, I mean every dog has um, a special cut, so she just gets a Yorkie cut. Okay. Poodles have their own cuts. Like every every single dog has their own kind of breed cut. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else you'd like to tell us about Groom It or some of the great features? Um, well, it's very easy to use. It's very convenient. Um, we come to your house and... It's like Uber for dog grooming. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. Super easy. Yeah. And what, what markets is it currently available in? It's currently available on um, the five boroughs in New Jersey and Connecticut, Westchester. Great. Yeah. So quite a big area. Yeah. We're looking to expand. Awesome. Yeah. And what about groomers? If groomers want to get involved? Yeah. Um, we are always looking for new groomers, always um, interviewing new groomers. We always want um, fresh blood. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a great opportunity yeah. for any groomers out there. You can check yeah. out the website. Groomit.me. Um, okay, groomit.me. And what about social media? Uh, we advertise on Instagram, Facebook, Google AdWords, everything. Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. So just look for Groom It and you can find the app, you can find the social media handles, or you can find the website. Mm -hmm, exactly. Awesome. Well, if you have a dog out there that needs a groom, definitely check out the Groom It app. Yes. And a groomer will come to you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back to Celebrity Catwalk. I'm your host, Dana Humphrey, also known as the Pet Lady. And I'm Dana, and this is... I am Jorge Bendersky, a celebrity dog groomer. And, and Tito. Of course, Tito. And today we're going to be talking about what's trending in pets, our new podcast. Correct. Nothing better than talk about me. <laughs> and you. <laughs> well, first of all, uh, Jorge Bendersky is a celebrity dog groomer, and his dog Tito has a big following. You can follow him at Tito the Palm. But Jorge, tell us a little bit how you got started um, and how you became a celebrity dog groomer. Well, I moved to the U.S. 20, bless you, 25 years ago, and I, you know, I didn't spoke any English, and I didn't want to deliver pizza. So I figure I have to do something with my hands. And since I was in the business of dogs all my life, I became, a, a, I turned my hobby into a profession, and I've been grooming since then. Wow, here in New York City. Yes, always in Manhattan. And I know that you were on a show on Animal Planet, Groomer Has It. Can you tell us a little bit about how that's, that got started? Well, uh, that was 10 years ago. It was one of the first reality shows, and it was so much fun. If you're not thinking that you're locked in a house with 12 groomers and one bathroom. But, you know, other than that, it was like a great experience that, you know, I don't, I'm not sure I ever want to do again, but it was great. It, it was the beginning of like my career and like on a much public, you know, level. I know that you also recently came out with a best-selling book, DIY Dog Grooming. Um, how did that come to be and who wrote the foreword? Well, the book is, uh, I know, was a great idea that actually was born with you in a train station when we miss a train <laughs> and we didn't know what else to do. So we say, oh, why we just don't pitch a book? <laughs> and uh, so uh, after 25 years of uh, grooming, I th have so many questions that people, pet owners ask me that I say, you know, maybe it's a good idea to have them all in the book on many things that they can do them, themselves. You know, grooming is not just about getting your dog clean. Grooming is a bonding experience. And, you know, so when you groom your dog, you, you're connecting with them on a much deeper level. And like I always say, you know, when you see Mama Monkey is grooming baby monkey and Mama Lion grooms baby lion. You know, grooming is nature's way to show uh, love 
and yeah. care. So when you groom your dog, you're not only saving money, you're not long, only having a beautiful dog, but your dog love you more because of it. Yeah, it's a great bonding experience. And when you mess it up, you come back to me and I still charge. So it's a win-win situation, you know. <laughs> but, you know, it is true. We need to know what we do with our, with our pets, you know, the right tools. And remember, when we groom a dog, when we brush a dog properly, it's the best way for early detection of like most health issues. Mm -hmm. You see a flea, a tick, an allergic reaction, a little, you know, uh, cyst or something. Everything gets reflected on the skin before. So when you brush your dog thoroughly, you see everything. And early detection means a cheaper solution. Yep, yep, definitely. Some preventative options at the vet, I'm sure. Yes, and Tito loves it. He loves it, you know, he put his legs up in the air and get his tummy brush and you know so he he get his free on. <laughs> Where can people find a copy of your book? Well you can go or look for it at Amazon or you can go to planetjorge.com and look for it but let's talk about the podcast because yes. that is going to be It's very fun, new and exciting. <sighs> I always say you know we been doing I've been giving classes like for years and doing public speaking but the podcast is like the kitchen talk of the party <laughs> you know <laughs> that is where everything goes and uh, so it's, it's uh, you know it's fun we talk you know topics that nobody really talks yeah. well we've been friends for a long time now and working together for many of those years and um so yeah now it's finally you know time to launch it so people can hear what's up i know we always talk and you know drink and text <laughs> <laughs> so doing that on a podcast you know minus the drinking is is going to be a lot of fun i'm really looking forward to see uh, the feedback from people because they're going to see a total different uh, side of, of me and, and you i i know it's going to be revealing well we're launching the podcast um in mid-september on the simply pets radio network so we're very excited about that and it'll be available for download on every type of um, device you want to listen to a podcast on all right i love podcasts and that's yeah, the new too. thing you know you get into the subway you don't have to hear you know what's you know new so you don't have to hear anything but just exactly the topic that you're interested in and everybody loves dogs and yep. pets so you know we're gonna just make a lot of people smile on the way to work so that's good yeah we're gonna have information but really it's more fun and getting you know getting to know different um, guests from the industry um, what are some of the guests so far I know the other day we interviewed Shira yes. the pet psychic oh my god you know what? I had a problem with Tito that he will not pee on his wee wee pad. He will always miss. I don't know what kind of talk they had. He hasn't missed since. Oh wow. I know, I need to send her a check. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, amazing. I'm, I'm, I was like, wow. And she's funny. So yeah. that was a great guess. And then we have like the only iconic Ada Nieves yes. and her Chihuahua nation yes, exactly. and that was fun we couldn't get a lot of dirt out of her like it is too nice she's too nice to everybody <laughs> and i'm like i want somebody to spill the tea on the pets and um, so you know for all the viewers if you have something fun to say you know they can reach us at what's trending in pets dot com and we're gonna definitely have a way to communicate and talk about topics that yeah i mean we're gonna talk about breeds we're gonna talk about what's going on in the industry we're gonna go to shows uh we'll be you know reporting live from some of the trade shows whether it's inner room or super zoo or global pet expo or the retails and sales pet expo my topic last week i'm like is your dog watching you have sex <laughs> <laughs> i'm like i'm like who allows the dogs inside the bedroom all that kind of talks that you just talk to friends only. All the, yeah, all the questions you want to know, but no one really wants to ask. Yeah, so we're going to be dropping the tea there. <laughs> right, Tito? I know, your bad habits. So check it out. It's what trend, what's trending in pets.com, or you can check out the Simply Pets Radio Network and uh, download the podcast, What's Trending in Pets with Dana and Jorge. Hey. <laughs>